A very good morning to all of you children. Hope you are doing good by God's grace. Welcome to our science class. Science is a way of thinking. Children, are you ready to think? If so, let's move into our class. Children, today we are moving into unit 3. The lesson name is Work and Energy. Shall we all repeat it again? Lesson name is Work and Energy. Good. In this, today we will focus on Force and Work. Okay? So get ready for the class. Force. Force. We hear the usage of this term many times in our day-to-day -day life. But we might not know that we are using it. Let's look into few examples that we perform in our day-to-day -day activities. First, opening a door. We Open and close the door. Correct? We open and close the door. We do that in our house. Correct? Super. This action requires force. Second example. Riding a bicycle. Wow. I think most of us Love to ride a bicycle, isn't that? Yes, to ride a bicycle, we need a force, correct? For pedaling. Third example, lifting an object. To lift any object, we need force. Uh, do you agree with me? If you agree, can you all say yes? Yes. Super children. What is a force? Any guesses? Anyone? A force. A force is a push or pull that moves an object at rest or stops an object that is at motion. That is, by applying, applying force, we can move an object or we can stop an object. In this picture, there are two players. Player 1 is having a ball. He wants to move it to player, the next player. So what he has to do? He has to Kick. Kick the ball. So here, force is applied in the form of a kick. In this picture, a man is standing there and he wants to move the disc from position A to position B. So what he has to do? He has to push the disc from A to B position. Correct? Here, force is applied in the form of push. In this picture, the man Is lifting a pen from the desk. Here, force is applied as lifting. We learn what is force. Now, we'll see what can be done with the force. 
first it can stop a moving object see how this girl wants to stop the moving object second it can change the shape of an object have you seen your mother netting the dough see this person how he is netting the dough third it can also change the direction of moving object you are clear now now we will look into types of forces types of force first one magnetic force okay i am going to show you an example see i am placing few pins on my hand and this is a magnet see when i touch the pins are attracted towards a magnet this is called magnetic force you can also see in this picture correct good second one is frictional force i have a ball with me if i just roll the ball it moves from me and it moves forward and in a particular direction it stops this is because of frictional force either it will stop on a particular position or it can come back can you see this picture the ball either it's moving forward or it is coming backward the third one is gravity third force gravitational force i'm taking this ball and throwing upward what happens it it goes to a particular level and it comes down correct this is because the earth exerted some force on it and pulls it down that is the earth applies some force and pulls this ball down this is because of the gravitational force can you see this picture the ball kicking the ball up and it comes down the fourth force is muscular force can you see this girl carrying a bag this is because of muscular force when many many of you children carry bag bag right now we getting into work look at these pictures a man carrying luggage a man cutting the wood third picture a man clearing the waste correct so what do you observe these people are applying some force to do a work so a work is nothing but one exerts a force to move an object is known as work an action in which one exerts a force to move a action is known as work that is we apply a force towards an object so that the objects move from one place to another that is work
When can we say that a work is done? Under two conditions we can say a work is done or not. First one. A force should be applied on an object. Second one. Object should move from one place to another. Can you see this picture? This lady is applying the force on an object. So, this object moves from one place to another. Now, you are clear with work? Now, it's question and answer time. I have few pictures in front of me. I am going to call each one of you and ask you whether force is applied on this object or not. If your answer is yes, you should also say yes and why your answer is yes. If no, and also reason for no. Okay? Good. We will start now. Vipin, can you say whether force is applied here or not? Yes, miss. Work has been done here. The man has ploughed the land by moving from here to there. Good, Vipin. Yes, the man has applied a force and work is done there. Pavitran, now it's your chance. No, miss. I think, uh, I think work is not done here. Very good, Pavitren. You are correct. Now, Morgan, can you try this? Yes, miss. Work is done here by pulling the rope from the well. Well done children. You all answered it correctly. So you have understood what is force and work. Let's have a short recap on today's lesson. First we learn what is force and with few examples Second, we learned about the types of force and finally about work. Children, now it's time to say goodbye. Take care. Be very good children. Help your parents. Stay at home. Bye.